Welcome to another shop punter tutorial. Again, this is Watch Me Dropship, aka Justin. As some of you may know me. Today, we're gonna be going over just the Google rabbit hole method. You've seen this in a lot of our other tutorials and I just wanna show you how powerful it can be. Really, the easy way to do it is just to start very broad. Like if you don't have any ideas, you could go to top products here and just look at different things that people are selling to get an idea. Like look at these, for example. Here I am looking at some fleece booties, which are great for the winter season. I will just take any product that just catches my eye and we will go to Google and search it and we will find other stores to track from Google Shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a few of these and we're going to track these stores. Let's see. Let's build. All right, warmies.com. What a great domain. I'm gonna go click add shop, search, start tracking, okay. And wow, look at the numbers that these guys are doing. This is amazing. Their top selling product is Sloth Warmies too. Man, these guys are killing it. Like this automatically catches my eyes, guys, because the numbers here are just incredible. And this is a store that someone else started the track. So I, let's just take a look at this because this is really, really good. Um, where is it? This is um, Intellexa. Cozy Crew? All right, I gotta find the store real quick, guys. So if you forget which store it is, just grab this link, bring it up, okay? And then we're gonna search, okay? Sloth. Warmies. What is this? You know, we started tracking slippers and we found this really cool sloth stuffed animal that you microwave and that keeps you warm. What a great idea, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna tag this, okay? I'm just gonna call it winter. And we're gonna go back in our browser and I'm gonna add the tag so we can bring this up later, okay? Now that we have warmies, we're gonna track the cozy crew. Wow, look at this, cozy fleece leggings. This is making a majority of their money right here. So the Google method works like this. Once you find a store that's doing really well, obviously like the last two, you could take any of the products and just search it in Google to find more stores to track. Look, Joycey, live a sweater life. Cool clothing, seraphine. I mean, you get the idea, right? So now what we will do is we'll take these stores and track them as well. Let me tag this one so we don't forget where we were. Joycey is not a Shopify store, which is fine. I'm just gonna go to the next, guys. Just keep moving. All right, living a sweet life. Very cool. Look, translucent fleece leggings. Yeah, this looks awesome, guys. Winter, okay. And then just to show you, like, if you run out of ideas, you could even take a product that a store is not really selling a lot of and also search that product as well. Because what's gonna happen here, guys, is that one product may not be a winning product for one store, but it could be a winning product for another one. And the reason is that they might have a better marketing angle, a better offer, better a lot of different things. You know, there's so many factors. 
So we're just going to keep finding stores to add based off of what other stores are selling, even if it's not a lot. Let's see, let's add this one. And here we can see like the sculpturing bodysuit is doing really well. It's bringing in a majority of this store's revenue. So let's take a look at that. Wow, this is a great product, guys. Just think, the store is basically surviving off of that bodysuit, okay? And look, bodysuit, 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 bodysuit. Every single product in their top list is bodysuits. Just goes to show that you can find a lot of winning products just going down this rabbit hole method by searching the products that are on the top list and finding more sites that you can track. Let's see, skims, Yiddy. Let's check out Yiddy. Let's check out Pinzi. Okay, I'm gonna add this shop in here. We're gonna start tracking it. Winner, okay, perfect. Look at all these different shapewear bodysuits. Okay, let's do Yiddy. Oh, Fabletics, of course. This is such a big company, guys. Not Shopify, that's okay. We're finding just so many great products just by going down the rabbit hole on Google. And that's how this works, guys. Like you just take any product on the top list that you can see that's selling and just Google it, find more stores and add them in. Like I would just keep going down to the next. And then if you wanna go back and check out the stores you have tracked, go to my stores and then go to your filter, select it, and then start looking at other products that we can oops go on google let me do that again okay so i like this one because they were doing so well so then i'll take um, sloth warmies we're going to search that then we're going to add all these stores and just keep doing this to find more winning products guys and once you have all these stores up you're going to add them into shop hunter and you're going to track them make sure you tag them that way you can come back even if there's no data and find out what products are bringing in 80 percent of their revenue and that's what you want to like really focus on is when you have enough stores you're going to want to look at where the revenue is coming from and that's going to give you an idea of products that you could look deeper into to see if they're worth your time to market or test to build your own brand around and hopefully make a lot of money Again, guys, um, I will be doing more tutorials. Feel free to check them out. There are so many different ways that you can do product research and find stores to add into Shop Hunter. Again, this is Justin, aka Watch Me Dropship. Follow me on TikTok or Twitter or Instagram. We'll talk again soon.